We are at uh, fiberscope.net uh, getting a lot of uh, questions uh, about our articulated uh, video scopes. And the uh, most popular model is uh, uh, the flexible uh, video scope. Uh, Quasar and uh, Orion and uh, uh, the Rigel. And uh, this Rigel, uh, you, you, you probably would see it on the website uh, already. Uh, the I will not uh, uh, tell my, um, a lot about this thing. I just want to show you uh, the, the, a little bit of comparison with our other family of the videoscopes. So this is Rigel and the, the probe is flexible. I want to show you the comparison with another uh, videoscope that uh, this family of videoscopes are called Herons and this particular articulated uh, model is Heron A. So uh, many people uh, wonder what's the difference and what's advantages of the Heron articulated videoscope in compare of the Rigel uh, videoscopes. And, and I would like to show you what's uh, the, to point out one of the features, uh, one important difference. Uh, difference is uh, in the Pro. So with the uh, 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 Huron uh, videoscope, the shaft of the probe is rigid. So when you're working and you want, and maybe you uh, you inserting somewhere where your probe is horizontal or maybe even uh, going on the angle up, then it, uh, this uh, probe is uh, able to, you know, to, to hold the position and you can insert it in any, uh, you can insert it into the cavity and uh, the probe will still stay uh, st uh, straight. So then you can, with the uh, using of uh, articulating knob, you can articulate uh, almost 180 degrees uh, and uh, uh, search around the space and uh, because of the rotating feature where you can actually rotate it so then you can inspect the uh, you know most of the possible space and you have very wide vision around your inspection areas So, and as you can see here, it's connecting to the same video hub, video monitor as uh, the, the Rigel. So, the Rigel or any other flexible video scopes has a flexible sh uh, shaft. It's not, as, uh, it's not rigid as here. Uh, the tip uh, is flexed the same way. But the flexion, flexion, if we straight it out, let's straight it out because it's uh, busier. The flexion, it's not as much. Uh, it's quite much for the flexible scopes, but it's not as much as with the uh, Herons. And uh, also with the flexible, it will be hard to rotate the probe and uh, to move it uh, in these directions. And, and very importantly, when you want to insert somewhere, you can see that the probe will not hold the position. So if you will insert horizontally to a, maybe, a, for example, a, a, like a tank or a wide area where there, will, there is no support, then this, uh, uh, this probe will, will not keep, uh, hold the, the straight position. And as I said, like with this one, it's, uh, you can manipulate much easier where, where, where you're entering the, uh, the wider, uh, the bigger like tanks and uh, something like that.